Today we'll cover how to use the Curtis Integrated Toolkit, also known as CIT, to scan devices on the CAN bus and view device properties. When you scan a device, CIT downloads data such as parameter values from the device. You can then use CIT applications such as Programmer. To scan the devices connected to the CAN bus, do one of the following in the Launchpad application. Select Scan from the Devices from the Communication menu. If you're not working in a project, you can also click the Scan for Devices button, which we'll do here. We'll fast forward until scanning is done. After scanning has finished, CIT creates a device node. The node's name is the device's node ID in hex. In addition, Launchpad displays buttons for applications you could use. The applications available depend upon the device and the CIT edition. To see device properties such as the operating system and device profile versions, double-click the device node. The properties are displayed in a two-column table. The device column shows the values on the device, and the project column shows the corresponding properties for the project. The values in the columns depend upon whether you're working with a CIT project. Without an existing project, the columns should be identical. Some data, such as the serial number, might only be stored on the device. With a project, some of the values may differ. I'm going to open a project that shows how comparing device and project properties works. Let's fast forward. First, let's connect to the CAN bus. The app device profile version, OS version, and application version rows indicate whether the device has the latest versions. Discrepancies between project and device versions are identified by yellow warning icons. In this case, the application device profile and application versions on the device are all older than the project versions. Note that if you need to update the device, use CIT's package and flash application. Finally, to close the de device properties table, double click node. We hope this video is helpful and thank you for watching.